My name is Mihna Mirkan. I am a curator based in Melbourne since 2018. A biography of Daphne is a curatorial project that takes the classical myth of the nymph Daphne, who becomes a laurel tree in order to escape the god Apollo's unwanted embrace. The main concerns of the project are metamorphosis and trauma. These are notions that have been important in Western art throughout the ages. In the first picture that visitors see, Daphne is running away from Apollo. In the very last picture, Daphne has been apprehended, but she's also escaping by becoming a tree. In a sense, the whole chronology of the exhibition is bracketed within this in order to accommodate all the temporalities that run through the various works that the exhibition includes. There is a moment of absolute stillness embodied in the work of the Australian artist Lauren Burrow. The title of the work is A Stick Developing Eyes, and these are the words that the philosopher Val Routley describes when she sees a form floating towards her canoe in Kakadu. The stick is in fact a crocodile who death rolls Val Routley three times. She changes her name from Val Routley to Val Plumons in response to the trees that grow around her new home in a forest. Within the history of Daphnean representation, there is a great moment when Daphne is becoming trees represented by coral branches. Nicholas Mangan reflects on this rich visual history, but also on the role of the Great Barrier Reef as an index for, for climate change, and transforms or converges these lines of inquiry into a reorganized relationship between figure and ground. The exhibition includes the painting Kaun by Wingu Tinjima, custodian of the Seven Sisters narrative, and the author of a series of remarkable representations of this myth that manage to convey the place where the transformation happens, but also the energy of the cosmic event itself. Another myth that is paired with Daphne's in the exhibition is a series of works by the Singaporean artist Ho Tsun Yen. The exhibition includes his video installation Tour Three Tigers that takes as point of departure the moment when, in the 19th century, a tiger attacks a cartographic expedition in the jungle. The work uh, Hormonal Fog by Candice Lynn and P. Staff takes the form of a hacked fog machine that disseminates in the space tinctures made of plants that are known for their high concentrations of phytoestrogens. This is the work that perhaps thematizes most explicitly a series of possible metamorphoses that unite humans and plants. My belief is that the myth has something quite significant to tell us about our own crisis and our own transformation. The metamorphosis of the contemporary find a reflection in Daphne's own transformation. All the artists who have represented the myth have attempted to turn it into a contemporaneous subject matter, and so does the exhibition.